AI is moving fast. We have seen it generate text, images, even videos. But what about 3D models? Today I am testing Hightem 3D, an AI tool that claims to generate ultra high resolution 3D models from image. I am also going to see if these AI generated models can be 3D printed. Let's start right from the home page. Hightem 3D is one of the easiest AI 3D generators I have tested so far. It allows you to create full 3D models directly from images. Currently, you can choose between two versions and four different resolutions, going all the way up to 1536p. Of course, higher resolutions cost more credits. If you want textures, you can enable them right away, or even apply them later after the model is generated. And there's something most other AI 3D generators don't offer, multi-view to 3D. This means you can upload four images, front, back, left and right views, and get more complete model. I will test that feature later. The process is very simple. Upload an image, hit generate and wait. The model looks great, with good detail and no major issues. The textures are generally nice too, though the backside isn't always perfect if you only provide a front view reference. Still, that's expected and overall the results are impressive. Another nice bonus, if you are not satisfied, you get 3 free retries on every model. That's a great way to experiment without wasting credits. Let's try more examples. AI 3D generators usually do best with clean vector images without backgrounds. But Hightem 3D handles different images really well. But it also works with rough sketches, yes, even something you draw qu quickly with a pencil. You can use AI image generator images and you will get amazing results. If you want to use real photos, Hightem 3D can successfully extract the object while ignoring the background. If you want to turn yourself into a 3D model, you don't even need a 3D scanner. Just upload a photo to Hightem 3D and it does the rest. For things like cars, the multi-view generation really helps. I tested it with four different angle images and while the result wasn't a perfect replica, it was surprisingly good for just a handful of photos. If you want to make a portrait model, you can use a single image or get even better results by using the multi-view option. I tested this chair image and the results is outstanding. The 3D model looks clean, accurate and well detailed. I couldn't find any noticeable flaws. If you want to download your model, you have got 4 different file formats to choose from. All your previous generated 3D models are saved in the history section, so you can easily access, re-download or review them anytime. But these digital models are only half of the story. The big question is, can you 3D print them? Here are the models I printed. Before I show them up close, here are a few tips if you want to try this yourself. Use more supports than usual, since these models weren't designed specially for 3D printing. That means you will use more filament and spend extra time removing supports, but the end results are better. One model had missing parts after slicing, but I fixed it quickly using the fix model option in slicer. Sometimes the first layer has too small contact area with bed, which end up heat failure. You can fix it just moving the model a little bit down and by adding some brim. Now let's look at the prints. The panda came out really nice, no issues at all. The bottom part of the wheels are missing because I wanted to use less supports. 
I did print it just to see how it will come out. So I didn't see any point to waste filament for the supports. You can see there are even brick calipers. Some of the wheel spokes are smaller than others. Overall it came out good. This fish relief can use for some good 3D printed signs or CNC mill it out of wood. I printed it with the bottom side flat. The 3D model is actually identical on both sides. The bust and fully body figure printed cleanly without problems. The reference image was only from the front, but the head still looks great for every angle. Very impressive for a single view model. Clothes and shoes are all looking great. The Samurai Warrior has very nice details. The sword tip has some issues, but it's not caused by 3D modeling. It's quite small part and it's not easy to print with FTM printer. On a resin printer, it would likely come out perfect. This model was generated from an image I created using ChatGPT. And honestly, the results are impressive. The level of details is really good, even the backside of the model turned out nicely. The mushroom turned out great. I actually spent more time coloring it in Bamboo Studio than the AI needed to generate the model. It's the first squirrel I printed that had missing the tail and it's the one after model fix. Tail is quite heavy so we don't want to stand up. So what is my thoughts about this AI 3D generator? I think it's one of the most easiest to use 3D model generator in the market at the moment. The models are detailed, the textures look good and the multi-view feature is real advantage. Best of all, the generated models are 3D printable. The pricing plans are affordable and you can even try it free. On the downside, the generation speed is a bit slow, but the results are worth wait. And right now it only supports image to 3D, not text to 3D. That's not our deal breaker, since you can always generate images with different AI first and then feed them into high time 3D. Overall, I think it's a great tool for anyone interested in 3D modeling and also 3D printing. If you struggle with making 3D models yourself, definitely give Hightem 3D a try. It makes the whole process so much easier and saves you a ton of time. To wrap things up, Hightem 3D stands out as one of the most user-friendly AI 3D generators available right now. It delivers high-quality models supports multi-view generation and even produces 3D printable results with minimal cleanup. While there's still room for improvement in speed and advanced features, the overall performance is impressive. Thanks for watching this review and if you found it helpful, consider subscribing for more AI and 3D printing content.